All right, so today's message is what to do when it feel like God isn't moving. So I come to tell you today that God is moving. Um, what you have to do is just trust him. Anytime we pray and we ask God to do something, God starts moving. You know, um, it says, you know, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. So we know that faith comes by the hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. So if you ask God for something, just know that he is moving. But if God hasn't moved or you are going through a storm and it still feel like the storm is heavy, that is because God is, is building spiritual character and spiritual muscle inside of you. God is trying to teach you how to wait, how to wait in expectation, you know, how to, you know, people say pray, you know, pray until something happens or you talk to somebody and they tell you to pray again, you know, or they tell you to pray hard. It's not about praying hard. Um, <clears throat> once you pray, it's already done, but your praise should change and it should shift into praise. You know, when you pray about something, you just start thanking God for that, because what that does is that helps you because if you pray hard, as some people say, or they, you know, they say like, oh, well, you didn't pray hard enough. That's like, you know, you pray for something, you've been waiting for God and it's like, okay, well, I feel like God didn't answer it. God answered it. But when you praise, it's easier for you to, you know, just trust God versus going back. Because if you continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, and it feels like nothing happens, you can begin to frustrate yourself, you know. Um, but it's not like that. It's just like, you know, an athlete that trains, you know, they know when they continue to train, they train that they are getting better, even if it's a little bit, you know what I'm saying? They don't just, you know, not stop training, you know. If you're trying to lose a certain amount of weight, let's just say 20 pounds or something like that, you can work out two days straight. You know, you're not going to really see a difference. You know what I'm saying? Your body is going to feel like, you know what I'm saying, you've lost some weight or whatever, but you're not going to see a difference. You know, so so when we're praying to God, you know, we just got to trust God. And then our praise, you know, saying instead of our prayer, it should change the praise where we thank God for him and we thank him for it. And while you're, you know, you're waiting on the manifestation of the blessing, just know that, you know, what God is trying to do inside of you so you can be able to wait. So therefore, when other situations come up, you're like, you know what, I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to put it in God's hands and I'm going I'm to wait in expectation. You know, I was telling somebody you got a choice. You, you can wait in expectation or you can wait in worry, but worrying never helped any of the situation, you know, and yeah, it's so easy to say that, but um, trust me, it's, it's better to, it's better to just wait in expectation and trust God because it's already done. Like I said, when you ask God, you know, God is going to do it. It says you have not because you ask not. So obviously God is trying to teach you patience, you know, because we know in James chapter one, the trying of patience produces endurance or produces patience. Love y'all. God bless.